Namaste. Today we are going to prepare a model of force of dura mater. Most of the time when you dissect the head and neck region, when you take out the brain, the folds of dura mater will be cut or it will be torn off. Preparing this model, easily we can differentiate the different folds of dura mater. To prepare this model, the following materials are required. The main material is a thick hard sheet. So this I took out of the base of the cake. So it is just like the best out of waste. Along, along with this, other materials are the cutter, pencil, color sheet and a gum. To prepare this model, first we have to make a outlines, outlines of different dural folds. With the help of pencil we have to make the, the different folds. Next, after making the outline of the dural folds, we have to cut this outline with the cutter. Outlines of the dural folds have been made and now I am cutting the outline with the help of uh, the cutter. So now we have finished the cutting of outline. So finally we got the four pieces of dural folds. So namely the larger fox cerebrae and a pen shaped tentorial cerebelli and a sickle shaped the fox cerebelli and last the diaphragm cella with the stalk of pituitary gland. So next we are going to fix different pieces of uh, dural folds. I have fixed the pieces of dural folds and I have pasted with the different color sheet to differentiate the different folds of dura matter. The first one, the green color is called as Fox Cerebrae. It is a large sickle shaped fold of dura matter which is projecting into the median longitudinal fissure in between the two cerebellar hemisphere. It has two ends, anterior end which is attached to the crista gully and the posterior end which is attached to the upper surface of the tentorial cerebelli. Next it has two margins, the upper margin and the lower margin. This regarding the Fox cerebrae. Next, the yellow color it is the tent shaped fold of dura mater which is present in between the occipital lobe of cerebrum and cerebelli. It is called as tentorial cerebelli. Next, the orange one it is the, it is the small sickle shaped fold of dura mater which project into the posterior cerebellar notch. The last one is a small circular fold of dura mater which covers the roof of the hypovisal fossa called as diaphragm cella. So this is regarding the different folds of dura mater namely the fox cerebrae, tentorial cerebellae, next orange one is called as fox cerebellae and the black one is called as smaller is called as diaphragm cella. So this is regarding the different folds of dura mater. Lastly, the benefit of this model. The first benefit is we can utilize this model before going for the dissection of dural folds. Second benefit is in classroom teaching you can utilize this model for the effective teaching. Last one is its cost effectiveness. We can prepare this model with minimum cost for about 40 to 50 rupees. This regarding the model. Thank you.